Welcome back to our battle against Kublion. Well, not a battle now because we weakened him enough. Oh, by the way, it's, it's impossible to critical capture a legendary. So basically, no matter how many Pokeballs we fly, we won't get a critical capture. If we do get one, I'll be pretty surprised. That is Glenn Clay. 101 Cobrians. to replace um, Skydrop with Thunder Wave because we can always relearn Skydrop but Thunder Wave would come in really useful in being Captain Kablaya and so that's next Pokemon down uh, let's see, let's go with Sunblock next let's, let's, let's take a risk You slash, crave. Yep, we can further. That was a good risk. That's the worst feeling ever in a Pokemon game. I don't mind if it was two rocks, but three rocks and a bit of pause. That's so torturous, man. It's like twisting the necklace. I don't know if pressing A when it flashes does any effective stuff. Let's see, watch this, watch this wall flash. That's when I press A. Right now. Does that do anything or does it make it worse? Or is, is, there, is there critical timing? Bloody hell, critical hits after another. How many, how are we doing for hyper potions? Oh, we're doing quite good. We've got plenty of super potions, which I might save for um, the gym leader. But we've got to, but we've got to portray to the guest of honor. The problem is Rutalia only has three p only has five PP. So that's basically far five turns. I think Sacred Squad's got, got ten. Oh, Jesus. You know this probably be a lot more tougher when it's up to level 65. This fight will be so much tougher. Yes! There we go, Cobline was caught. 
and it took us two min. It took us three minutes in part. No, two minutes. Actually, actually, we caught Kublin under seven minutes. It has a body with a heart of steel. That's that's a cool Pokemon to have. And we've got much off-screen training to do as well. And there's Bianca and Juniper. Oh. oh yeah, this guy, this guy talks, basically in black and white one, like this is the city where it gets always about the monster and apparently that monster is Karugum, who is of course our main legendary of this um, playthrough. Come in, the game is please come in. <laughs> Pardon the hemorrhoids. <laughs> Do you want some crappy strawberry tea that tastes like water? Behind Luna, Luna Rossa Mountain Town there's a mighty big hall. It's called my it's my haunted pussy. Oh, yeah. Have you heard of the giant chasm? Uh, I've heard that round giant chasm has been brief temperature readings of minus 58F. That's what Cheren told me anyway. The road's blocked, so we can't get there right now. Long time ago, the giant chasm was created when a big meteorite fell from the sky. A really scary Pokemon was hidden inside a meteorite. A meteorite? When darkness falls upon the land, this Pokemon appears. A frigid wind follows it. It freezes everything around and eats people and Pokemon. That's why everyone's afraid. The Pokemon ate people, so our ancestors surrounded the town with walls to prevent the, the Pokemon from getting inside the town. Also, rule has never been anyone to go out after dark. Everything was peaceful. Then the Cryugems attacked. <laughs> Everyone received grim reminders. Uh, no, but let's read it again. A Zircon is a legendary that lends its power to a person it recognises as a hero. Pursuing ideals. It has a black body and it can unleash fearsome lightning. Zerkrai was survived by a rock called a dark stone. Let's suppose the meteorite from this story is the stone and the one that's same. The elements found in the same era, Dragon Spiral Tower Zircon was. The Incolunus clouds, which are clouds that resemble nests or a fence. <coughs> right, so my coffin. <laughs> Not the Pokemon coffin. Apparently, my cough just knocked down the camera. Wrestles with his dragons. <laughs> yep, 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 dragon botching. Yep, 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 you botch a dragon. Oh, and there's Yancey. Tell him that I've caught a Kablion, she'll be so jealous.
My, my colleague is calling me. Out in the shadow once again. Probably he heard of the old wives' tale. They're one of the same. They're two of a kind. And I realize that we're not in the middle. Dooby dooby doo ah. Yeah, there we go, that, that should do it for now. What's up? Have you seen any Team Plasma anywhere? I heard a rumour to that effect. And they walk right in front of us. Oh, for crying out loud, these troublesome indeed. My curious trainers. Perhaps I should satisfy your curiosity somewhat. These are still part of Team Plasma Datics. I want to know how the world will change. Listen, Pokemon are nature. Pokeball is civilization. People who use to, to civilization don't vanquish Both nature and civilization are important. Under the world where taken over by Team Plasma. People will force to throw out their Pokeballs as a product of civilization. Shut your mouth. All I want is to get back a stolen Pokemon. Hell yeah, you give me free XP. This fight shouldn't take very long. They see Zigzagoin is a, um, an ice trainer. And of course his main Pokemon is a, a, a Christ Gagonagor, which is an awesome looking Pokemon. And apparently my rival thinks it's a good idea to bring an ice type to a flying slash. Oh, he's doing, a, doing the right thing to let me weaken Christ Gagonagor for me. I don't suppose that did that much damage. I'm not going after. Because I know my Pokemon's are a threat. Horse Palm Sneasel again. That's a very good rival. Obeying the master, who is also his friend. Forty-seven. Ah, calm mind. I don't need that. I'll sit with sword dance. I still wonder when we learn an aura spear. Oh, this, both, this ain't gonna be good. Let's use Dig. Oh wow. That's a bad move for a Garbodor to have. It speeds rubbish anyway. So he joins the next part. This is going to say blah blah blah, we're going to take over the world, blah blah blah, see you in the next part. <laughs>